This network of alleys in Pat Pong, usually the vibrant center of Bangkok's unique style of nightlife, now sits idle and dark. The shutters were pulled down on bars and entertainment venues in the weeks after the first cases of COVID-19 in Thailand and have stayed down for most of the 18 months that followed, thanks to shutdowns and curfews. This part of Chinatown is home to a community of trendy, small specialty bars. Not only do bar owners view the government's handling of their industry during the pandemic as a near death blow, but alcohol control laws predating the shutdowns have also been working against them. I am embarrassed about this situation. Thailand is renowned for its great nightlife. Many bars here receive awards. Why doesn't the government support the industry? I think these strange laws are supported by big business to maintain their monopoly. Our voice is not loud like theirs. Bar owners call the laws draconian, in which alcohol sales are limited to set hours during the day, heavy taxes on imports, and unequal laws only allowing large companies to brew beer and distill alcohol. A ban on alcohol advertising and internet sales are so strictly enforced, bars were fined for posting videos of cocktail making and menus for drinks delivery. Yet large breweries avoid the ban by advertising mineral water and soda that bear the same logos as their alcohol products. Here's an example of Thailand's alcohol control laws. If I were to take a selfie here in this bar and share it on social media, I could be fined up to $1,500 for indirectly advertising the brands of alcohol behind me. If I own the bar, I could be fined up to $15,000 and possibly face a year in jail. Alcohol control laws have been a contentious subject in Thailand. Historically, politically connected conservative and religious groups have worked to keep them strict. An opposition member of parliament, a former bar owner himself, is working to change the laws and save smaller bars in trouble. When we reopen again and the tourists come again, they, they would find out Thailand is complete, completely different country, completely, it's not fun anymore, you know. Yet some who support the alcohol laws say it's also about safety for visitors. I think tourist safety should be a priority. I think alcohol control is necessary. If we let the alcohol sellers run free and do whatever they want, things will get messy. Once Thailand emerges from its lockdown, curfews are lifted and the nightlife is allowed to reopen. It's unclear if it will return as it once was or a watered-down version. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.